It is a celestial rock. Awakening. In space, if you will. Uh, Dirk, D oh, okay, Dirk, what is it? We're all like, it's, it's a planet? Is, is, is it the moon? Actually, what is it? Actually, we've been searching trying to find you in the newsroom because we know you know. Dirk, what is it? Well, I, that's interesting. I mean, I've been... I've been <laughs> <laughs> Is it, is it the moon? I don't know. You'd have to back up. I'd have to be outside to really see, but that looks like a point of light. But they, and if it's close to the sun where the sun's coming up, then more than likely that's... Uh, I can't believe that we could see Venus that close. But it is a planet, right, because it's not twinkling, or is that, is that a myth? No, I, I would say that that's a planet, yeah, but it's I... It's Saturn. It's hard. Okay, Tamara wants in on this one. It. She's been Googling. No, that can't be Saturn unless there's be. an eclipse going on. No, because you don't see Saturn as with a chunk taken out of it. Maybe that's the you only see on. You only see the moon uh, that have a chunk like that, and the only other planet that I know of that you see a chunk taken out of it like that would be Venus. Um, because it's on the inside planet. Uh, Saturn and Jupiter, they're all outside planets right. from And this, Earth, friends, so is what it's like that. when you stop by the weather department <laughs> at any moment. Right. These yeah. are the kinds of conversations that but you will stumble into. I need to go outside and see it so Let's I can be sure what I'm looking at. Let's just send you up in the chopper at. so you can investigate properly. How oh, I'd that? love to. I agree. Okay. Yeah, go up into the KCRA <laughs> Observatory and get back to us. Thank you, Dirk. All right.